Jesus, Jesus, Jesus in the morning, Jesus in the noontime, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus when the sun goes down. Praise him, praise him, praise him in the morning, praise him in the noontime, praise him, praise him, praise him when the sun goes down. Love him, love him, love him in the morning, love him in the noontime, love him, love him, love him till the sun goes down. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. My dear friends, we gather on this Monday, on the last day of January. And we celebrate the feast of St. John Bosco. It is a great day to gather, to give thanks to God for another day, another week, another time of renewal for our faith. Let us ask God today to help us and to forgive us. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who raised up the priest St. John Bosco as father and teacher of the young, grant, we pray, that aflame with the same fire of love, we may seek out souls and serve you alone. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. An informant came to David with the report. The children of Israel have transferred their loyalty to Absalom. At this, David said, uh, said to all his servants, Who were with him in Jerusalem? Up, let us take flight, or none of us will escape from Absalom. Leaving, leave quickly, lest he hurry and overtake us, and visit disaster upon us, and put the city to the sword. As David went up the Mount of Olives, he wept without ceasing. His head was covered, and he was walking barefoot, all those who were with them also had their heads covered, and they were weeping as they went. As David was approaching Baruam, a man named Shimei, the son of Gera, of the same clan as Saul's family, was coming out of the place, cursing as he came. He threw stones at David and all the king's officers, even though all the soldiers, including the royal guard, were on David's right and his left. Shimei was saying as he cursed, Away, away, you murderous and wicked man! The Lord has requited you for the bloodshed in the family of Saul, in whose stead you became king. And the Lord has given over his kingdom to your son, Ablasam. And now you suffer ruin because you are a murderer. Abashai, son of Zeruah, said to the king, Why should this dead dog curse my lord the king? Let me go over, drop, and lop off his head. But the king replied, What business it is mine or yours, son of Zerubbabel, that he curses? Suppose the Lord has told him to curse David. Who then will dare to say, Why are you doing this? Then the king said to Abishai and to all his servants, If my own son, who has come forth from my loins, is seeking my life, how much more might this Benjamite do so? Let him alone and let him curse, for the Lord has told him to. Perhaps the Lord will look upon my affliction and make it up to me with benefits, for he curses, he is uttering this day. David and his men continued on the road, with Shemel kept the rest of them on the hillside, all while cursing and throwing stones and dirt as he went. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, rise up and save me. 
Lord, rise up and save me. O Lord, how many are my adversaries. Many rise up against me. Many are saying of me, there is no salvation for him in God. Lord, rise up and save me. But you, O Lord, are my shield, my glory, you lift up my head. When I call out to the Lord, he answers me from his holy mountain. Lord, rise up and save me. When I lie down and sleep, I wake again, for the Lord sustains me. I fear not the myriads of people arrayed against me on every side. Lord, rise up and save me. Alleluia, alleluia. has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus and his disciples came to the other side of the sea, to the territory of the Gerasenes. When he got out of the boat, at once a man from the tombs who had an unclean spirit met him. The man had been dwelling among the tombs, and no one could restrain him any longer, even with a chain. In fact, he had frequently been found with shackles and chains, but the chains had been pulled apart by him, and the shackles smashed, and no one was strong enough to subdue him. Night and day among the tombs and the hillsides, he was always crying out and bruising himself with stones. Catching sight of Jesus from a distance, he ran up, prostrated before him, crying out in a loud voice, What have you to do with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I adjure you by God, do not torment me. He had been saying to him, Unclean spirit, come out of the man. He asked him, What is your name? He replied, Legion is my name, and there are many of us. And he pleaded earnestly with him not to drive him away from the territory. Now a large herd of swine was feeding there on the hillside, and they pleaded with him, Send us into the swine, let us enter them. And he let them, and the unclean spirits came out and entered the swine. The herd of about 2,000 rushed down the steep bank into the sea where they were drowned. The swineherds ran away and reported the incident in the town and throughout the countryside. And people came out to see what had happened. As they approached Jesus, they caught sight of the man who had been possessed by legion, sitting there clothed and in his right mind. And they were seized with fear. Those who witnessed the innocent explained to them what had happened to the possessed man and to the swine. Then they began to beg him to leave their district. As he was getting into the boat, the man who had been possessed pleaded to remain with him. But Jesus would not permit him, but told him and said, Go home to your family and announce to them all that the Lord in his pity has done for you. Then the man went off and began to proclaim in the Decapolis what Jesus had done for him, and all were amazed. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Gospel today once again shows us that Jesus has power over the unclean spirit. Jesus has power over evil. There was this man who was filled with demons. The demon's name said he was legion, and there were many of them. And Jesus cured him, healed him, and told him to go back to his family. He wanted to become a disciple of Jesus, but Jesus did not choose him for that. But he wanted him to go home to his family, and to show them the goodness that the Lord has placed upon him. 
Today the church uplifts St. John Bosco. He lived, he was born in 1815, and he was born in Italy. During his youth, he had a time of hardship, and of course, had this religious vocation, and was ordained a priest. But what he wanted to do is he wanted to devote his life to the education of the youth. He saw that in the young people on the streets of Italy, that they were losing their way, they didn't have faith, and they were empty and abandoned, and didn't know what to do. And so St. John Bosco started a religious order, the Salesians, that still have established today. And they care for the youth. And there is a group of religious sisters, Salesian sisters, who take care of the youth, um, the girls, the young teens. It is in this wonderful order of the Salesians that the young of our time are cared for, are taught, and are lifted up as disciples of Jesus. The Lord today invites you and I not to give up on the youth of the world, but instead to entrust them to God, to offer prayers for them, to tell them about Jesus, so that they too can be believers. That the Lord delights in healing and saving his people, let us offer our prayers this day with confidence. For bishops, priests, and deacons, may God grant them the courage and adversity and grace as they lead the church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For governmental leaders throughout the world, may God help them govern with goodness and righteousness. Let us pray for the people in the Ukraine. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our own nation, that there be an end to abortion and all hatred and racial division. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own faith community, may God make us joyful hearts, sharing in the love of Christ in all we say and do. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are experiencing mental illness, May God strengthen them, provide the resources that they need, and bring them to better health. And we pray for all those who, sick and, who are sick or suffering in any way. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died in Christ, may they be rewarded with eternal happiness in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For your needs, your intentions, that we bring to the Lord today in the silence of our heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us now take all of these prayers. We lift them up to God our Father, praying as our Savior taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your great love. In your wisdom, please hear and answer our prayers this day, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go, announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Serve him, serve him, serve him in the morning, serve him in the noontime. Serve him, serve him, serve him when the sun goes down. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus in the morning, Jesus in the noontime. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus till the sun goes down.